hello guys welcome to my channel civilology the study of civil engineering today our topic of discussion is estimation when we talk about estimation it's mean that we will have to find or to know or to determine or to calculate the cost value quantity or area of anything so estimation involves to determine to calculate or to know the value cost quantity or area of anything so in this video we are going to calculate the area of a shuttering and how much shuttering will be required for column beam and slab we will discuss for these three structural members okay in the end we will make a rough estimate by multiplying the calculated area with the cost per square meter or you can say the rate per square meter or rate per square foot so at the end of this video you will be able to make estimation about beam slab column shuttering or form work so you are requested to watch complete video and if you are new to my channel you are requested to please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates so let's start our today's topic first of all some important formula for area calculation first one is square rectangle and the third one is circle these are the you can say normally used geometrical figures that we use in construction for example for like for beams columns or pillars and slabs etc so these are the basic shapes okay so you will have to learn two basic formulas for each case okay for each shape okay so the square is as you can say all four sides of the square are equal so you should know the area of perimeter for square which is four times s perimeter is actually the length of outer boundary of the object so the perimeter of the square is four times s and its area is s multiplied by s which means that side multiplied by side okay i hope you are getting my point this is going to be very interesting guys watch complete video and the second figure is rectangle this is the length of the rectangle and this is b breadth of the rectangle so the perimeter of the rectangle is calculated as 2 times length multiplied by 2 times b as in rectangle two sides are of same length as you can see over here this side is equal to this side and this side is equal to this side so the perimeter which is the length of outer perimeter or outer boundary is two times length multiplied by two times its breadth and its area is equal to breadth multiplied by length okay it's simple guys for circle circle as we know that for aesthetical purposes sometimes pillar is provided in circular shape or octagonal shape or so the normal shape used for pillar is circular and this is the radius of the circle and its area is equal to pi r square and its perimeter is equal to 2 pi r which is circumference of the circle so these are the basic formulas to learn before the uh, area calculation of pillars columns and slabs etc so let's proceed so first of all we will learn to calculate the area of a shattering for beam let's suppose we have a beam and its length is 3 meters okay its length is 3 meters its depth is 0 0.6 meters and width is 0 0.4 meters and shattering is done on 5 passes shattering is done on 5 passes and front face as you can see over here this is the front face and then there is number two which is rear face which is opposite to face number one as in our uh, this case this is the back side of this beam okay and then there is number three which is right face of the column and then there is left face which is fourth number four or you can say left face of the beam 
and then bottom face as i told you before we will have to cover five sides and top face is left open for pouring of concrete so we will calculate the area of individual face so starting from face number one it is three multiplied by 0 0.6 the area of a top face or front face is as you can see over here the length is 3 meters and depth is 0 0.6 meters so the area of front face is 3 into 0 0.6 which is equal to 1.8 square meters similarly the rear face has the same dimensions which is 3 multiplied by 0 0.6 3 is the length of this face and 0 0.6 is the depth of the beam or depth of this face then there is right face and it is 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.6 as you can see over here this is the uh, right face okay so this width is 0 0.4 meters and the depth is 0 0.6 meters so the area of this face will be equal to 0 0.24 square meters again right face and left face has same dimensions which are 0 0.4 into 0 0.6 which comes out to be 0 0.24 square meters so right and left faces are same and have the same areas as calculated over here now the fifth face is bottom face whose length is 3 meters as you can see over here the length of the beam is 3 meters and the width of the bottom is 0 0.4 meters so the bottom area will be 3 multiplied by 0 0.4 which comes out to be 1.2 square meters okay so by adding up all these values we will get the total area of the beam which is 5.28 square meters okay now we are going to calculate the area of shattering for column let's suppose we have a column and the length or uh, you can say the height of a column is 3 meters okay and the width of one side is 0 0.6 meters and the width of other side is 0 0.4 meters so shuttering is done on four faces so it is important to know that the shuttering is a uh, shuttering for column is done on the four faces top and bottoms are not included okay top is left open for concreting and bottom do not require any farm work okay so we will have to calculate the area of four faces first of all this is front face as you can see over here denoted by number one and then there is rear face which is the back side or you can say the opposite side of front face okay then there is right side as you can see over here this is the right side and then number four is left face so as i told you before shuttering is done on four faces and we will have to calculate the area of individual face for calculating area for front face as you can see over here the height is three meters and width is 0 0.6 meters as you can see over here the height is 3 meters and width is 0 0.6 meters so the area will be 1.8 square meters similarly front and rear face have the same dimensions and its area comes out to be 1.8 square meters and right face has the dimensions 3 multiplied by 0 0.4 as you can see over here this is the right as you can say number 4 right and left faces are same have the same dimensions so for left face and right face the area will be calculated as the height 3 multiplied by 0 0.4 as you can see over here this is the height of this face this is the height and this is width of this face which is 0 0.4 so it comes out to be 1.2 square meters and by adding up all these values we will get the total area of the column in square meters so now we will calculate the area of shattering for slab let's suppose we have a slab and the length of a slab is 3 meters and the width of a slab is 2.5 meters and thickness of slab is 0 0.4 meters as we all know that shattering is done on five faces of the slab 
front face as you can see over here this is the front face and the opposite to front face is rear face which is the back side of this slab okay and then there is right face denoted by number three this is the right face of the form uh, slab sorry and this is the left face which is opposite to number three and have the same dimensions as that of right face and bottom shuttering is also required for slab as that of beam okay so by calculating the area of front face uh, you can see over here 2.5 multiplied by 0 0.4 this is this is front face this is front face the length is 2.5 meters and the depth is 0 0.4 and its area will be equal to 1 square meters similarly the rear face has the same dimensions as 2.5 multiplied by 0 0.4 and it will also be equal to 1 meter square if we talk about the right face right face as you can see over here the length is 3 meters and thickness of the slab is 0 0.4 meters and the area will be equal to 1.2 square meters similarly left face has the same dimensions and its area will be equal to 1.2 square meters as same that of right face okay now if we talk about the bottom face bottom face as you can see over here the length of the slab is 3 meters and the width of the slab is 2.5 meters so the whole bottom of the slab will be covered with form work or shuttering so the whole dimensions that is length multiplied by width will be taken which is equal to 3 multiplied by 2.5 and it comes out to be 7.5 square meters so by adding up all these values we will have the total area of the slab so this is the area of the shuttering required for slab as i mentioned before that areas will be calculated and then the rate will be multiplied to make a estimation or to know how much it will cost okay in the end let's uh, make cost estimation of shuttering for the areas that we calculated in previous slide for beam uh, column and slab okay let's suppose the rate of form work is 450 square meters 450 per square meters in pkr that is pakistani rupees and we have already calculated the areas as we know the total area of a beam is 5.28 meters okay and now if we multiply this rate with this area we will have the total cost of the form work for this beam okay is uh, for which we have calculated the area so this is the total cost for the beam which have these dimensions okay for which we have calculated the area and if you have number of beams of that size sim simply multiply that number with this value you will get the cost for a number of beams okay similarly as we have already calculated the total area of column which is 6 square meters and multiplying this area with red which is 450 we will get 2700 so this is the cost of a shuttering for this column okay and if we calculate the cost for a slab as we know that the area of a slab is 11.9 square meters and by multiplying the red we will get the total amount for this slab required for shuttering okay this is the total cost of uh, total cost required for shuttering of the slab so this in this simple manner you can calculate the uh, shuttering area and rough cost estimation of the shuttering so that's all for today for more videos you are requested to please subscribe channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates that's all for today